Crypto Wallet The single most important tool when it comes to investing or using cryptocurrency. After learning about cryptocurrency in our previous video, you will now learn how to store and manage it using a crypto wallet. In this episode, I will open an Exodus wallet, explore its features, and then send and receive crypto. I chose Exodus for its security and user-friendly interface. When you open the Exodus app for the first time, you are greeted with a number of features as well as the welcome screen. Here, you will either open an entirely new wallet or recover an existing one using your recovery phrase. We will explore the recovery option later. For now, select Create New Wallet. The graph on the wallet home screen depicts all the crypto values currently available to you, as well as the history of how and when it was acquired. Shortcuts to the main functions like sending, exchanging, buying or receiving crypto can be accessed via the blue menu. Below, you will see your recent transactions as soon as you send or receive crypto, followed by a list of your favorite cryptocurrencies. At the bottom of the screen you can see the app's main menu. Let's explore the app. First, please press the wallet icon. The wallet screen shows the total value of the portfolio and a list of your favorite cryptocurrencies. When you open the wallet for the first time, it suggests doing a backup. This is a very important step that you must do as soon as you set up your wallet. When you press the banner, Exodus provides you with the advantages of holding the keys to your crypto and that your secret phrase is the only way to access your crypto should your phone be damaged or lost. Never provide your secret phrase to anybody, especially to someone that asks for it. You can be certain that any person asking for your secret phrase is a scammer. Exodus or any other crypto wallet support person will never ask you for that secret phrase. When you press on the press and hold to reveal, your secret phrase will be displayed. Please take a moment to properly record the words in the exact order that they appear. Do not take a screenshot or make any other electronic copy of it, because it can be compromised. After you've copied all the words in the right order, Press done and the wallet will ask you a verification question that ensures you've properly recorded the words and their order. Choose the correct word and press the done button. You will end up in the profile section. Let's explore it. The first choice is assets. This is where you mark coins that you want to appear on your favorites list in the wallet section. Bitcoin is always selected by default. The next option is security. This is where you can find your secret phrase in case you want to make another copy. Here you will also find the options for turning on or off the password settings, face ID and touch ID. Next is the settings, like notifications, sounds and currency selection, followed by the sync option, when installing Exodus Wallet on multiple devices. I advise against populating the same wallet on several devices because it increases the risk of hacking. Here, you can also refresh the network in case you don't see your transaction or there are some discrepancies in the quantities of your coins. Next is the Restore Wallet feature. This is where you input your secret phrase in order to restore or to switch between wallets. Opening multiple wallets with small amounts of crypto increases the security tremendously. The support option is where you can check the status of your network or inquire about issues pertaining to your coins. Most importantly, you can contact the Exodus support team if you have any issues with the transaction or the wallet. Again, never provide your secret phrase to anybody. This concludes the profile section of your wallet. Now that the setup is complete, we can look at the different ways you can manage your cryptocurrencies. First, located in the middle of the main menu, is your swap crypto option. When you press it for the first time, it will ask you to acknowledge that the swap services and rates are powered by third-party API providers that will claim a small fee. This is shown only once and the next time you visit, you will only see the swap page. 
Last item on the main menu is the buy and sell crypto option. You can purchase Bitcoin using bank transfer, debit card, Apple Pay or Google Pay. It will require identity verification because of the connection with traditional banks. Once you go through the process, you will receive the Bitcoin and it is ready for swapping. The wallet itself doesn't require identity verification, so it is recommended that all the crypto purchases are processed on the crypto exchange rather than the wallet and using the wallet exclusively for sending and receiving or storing cryptocurrency. Nevertheless, this option may be very useful if some coins are not available on the exchange. After exploring the menus and setting up the wallet, let's now receive some Bitcoin into the wallet. Press on the wallet icon in the main menu and then choose Bitcoin from the list of coins. Here we choose the receive icon in the top right corner and on the next screen we have a choice of either using a QR code or copying a Bitcoin wallet address and mailing or texting it to another person. If both phones are close by it is more convenient to use the QR code. When another person sends crypto to your wallet you will see a pending transaction at the bottom of the screen. Processing times vary depending on the cryptocurrency or demand. It may take a few seconds, minutes or sometimes several hours. Coin is available when pending is replaced by the date of the transaction. You will also receive a notification from Exodus. We have the Bitcoin in our wallet so now let's send it to another wallet. Press on the send icon in the top left corner. On the next screen we can choose to put any amount in USD or Bitcoin. Press enter. On the next screen you have a choice to paste a BTC address received from another person or read the QR code with your camera. In our case, the other phone is here, so we will use the QR code. Press on the QR code icon and allow Exodus to access your camera. Point your camera toward the QR code on the other phone. Once the QR code is read and the wallet address appears, the Bitcoin is ready to send. Pressing the send button will open a confirmation screen and all we have to do now is slide the arrow across the screen to confirm. The Bitcoin has been sent. Don't forget to hit subscribe and thank you for watching.